Hello, my name is Robert Wizeka. I work as ecologist. There are five kingdoms, which is Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia. We are going to study the Kingdom Plantae. Let's go! about one of the class from Kingdom Plantae, which is Bryophyta. So this is a polytrichum species from Phylum Bryophyta. And this is Entotero species from Phylum Entotero And the last one is a Marcantia species from Phylum Hepatophyta. Okay, the unique characteristic of bryophyte is all non-vascular plants. The water transport through rhizoid. It has like roots and true leaf. Okay, phylum bryophyta has a function as a little protection against desiccation. Okay. We will explain to you about pteridophyte. As we all know that pteridophyte consists of two phylum, phylum lycophyta and phylum pteridophyta. As we all know, phylum Lycophyta consists of two species, which is Lycopodium like, species and Selaginella species. While for phylum Pteridophyta, there is Diopteria species. As we can see here, this species of phylum Pteridophyta, there is Diopteria species. We will explain to you about unique characteristics of Pteridophyte. Now, let me see the unique characteristics of Pteridophyte. The first one is Pteridophyte is a seedless plant. The second one, Pteridophyte has simple vascular system which means consists of xylem and phloem. Phloem also composed on bean, trachis and situ. The third one is Pteridophyte is a sporophyte independent from gametophyte. Then, Pteridophyte also has true roots. True roots mean it only consists of vascular plant and allow the shoot system grow taller. Moreover, it also has true stem. True stem means it's strong enough to withstand the dropping. The final one is it is depend on water transport medium for motile sperm cells. That's all from me. I will explain to you about type of spore production. There were two types of spore production. First, homospore. Homospore is one type of spore. For example, Dryopteris species and Lycopodium species. Second, heterospore. Heterospore is two types of spores. For example, Selaginella species. Heterospore, they have microsporangium which is male gametophyte and megasporangium, which is female gametophyte. Thank you. Osperm, they are also known as naked seed. Seeds are modified leaves that usually form cones or strobulus. Cone or strobulus has sporangium that contains spore. Presence of vascular system. Xylem only have trachea, except genetophyta. Phloem only have sieve tube, but no companion cell. Other than the unique characteristic of Chimoscore is heterosporous, the contents of two types of spore, microspore and megaspore. Megaspore develop into female gametophyte and microspore develop into male gametophyte. No double fertilization and no endosperm forming. It not depend on water. Because of that, it need the pollination agents such as wind. It has four classification of Chimoscore. Phylum Jingophyta, for example, Jingo Biloba. Phylum Coniferophyta, for example, Pinus species. Phylum Genetophyta, for example, Genetum species. And the last, Phylum Cycadophyta, Cyca species. Do you know where is the reproductive organ of the Skyca species? Here I want to show you about the female reproductive organ of the Skyca species. This is the female organ reproductive of Skyca species. Where the small one is the male reproductive organ of the Skyca species. Hello viewers. My name is Adam. 
About several months ago, I already discovered that plants also consist of phylum and juniper, also known as phylum Entophyta. This phylum consists of two classes, which is monocotyledonae and dicotyledonae. Angiosperm is a plant that consists of vascular system. Vascular system is important to the plant so it can transport the sources that are important to the plant. The fact that make this plant is interesting. Fertilization is not depend on water but it also needs pollinating agent which is like insects and wind. This is an example of monocotyledonate plant. Okay, this is coconut tree. One of one is example of dicotyledon plant. This plant each its embryo are protected by seed while its seed are protected by its fruits. This make this plant it uh, make this plant uh, turgid and special is because its protection are uh, in high protection. So I think this plant is good. This is the best plant. And just one is the best plant. After discover various types of plant, we can gain some knowledge. Through this, we should be thankful to God because He is the greatest creator. Thank you. Can I start away? Da, 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 da. It's the one and only people that will change.